Right, so a lot of threes in the first half. The coach talked to y'all about that at halftime. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, he's always emphasizes that we want to take the ball inside and not shoot as many threes. But, I mean, if we're playing more in the lane, those we just got to get away from them. We got to be able to get the ball inside and be able to dominate on the inside. You know, we do have some great scores down low. And myself and Cam, you and Joel and Isaiah. So, we just have to be able to just move around, get better movement, and just be able to get inside. Justin said that when you guys were kind of have a timeout, about three and a half minutes left, that he got you all together and said something about let's come together. Do you remember specifically what he said or close to it? I mean, he just said let's come together. And Kennedy said, hey, this is what we... What we've been waiting on. We, we want to show everybody our toughness, and I mean, this this is the point in the game where we know we have to show our toughness. And, I mean, that, that's what we did. We showed some great toughness, and we was able to go on that big run to be able to win the game. What do you think you learned about yourselves during that stretch of overcoming? Stay out of foul season? trouble. I mean, I play a lot better when I'm not in foul trouble. I mean, in the second half, when I know I had three fouls, I was trying to not foul, so then my defensive intensity went down, and then I started to become a liability. So I mean, I just like I said, I just have to stay out of foul trouble. I should just let that set. The, the, the second one, I should just let him go and just not pick up that third, that quick third one. To do this, to have this kind of comeback though without Marcus Page, what does that say about? I mean, it's, it shows that we're a very tough team. I mean, even if he's not on the court, I mean, we just have to. I mean, at times like this, we do know that we wish he was out there, but at the same time, we, we still have a game to play. I mean, we had to play against a great team tonight in Kansas State. I mean, they really gave us a dogfight, and we ended up winning that fight. What was the key difference uh, with four minutes to go? It's like you guys kind of turned into a little bit of a different team than what you've done in the first 36 minutes. Uh, we just we tried to be the, we tried to be the team that Coach Russell did. We don't want to be the team that was last year. And last year, at that point in the game, we probably would have folded. And would have gave up a bigger deal. It just would have gave up. But this year, we want to be able to show that we can finish games. And we do have the toughness to be able to keep fighting, right? even if we are down to we have been in that position before. We just have to go ahead and just just keep playing the way we know how to play and execute. Was the Northern Iowa game in the back of your head at all? Uh, it, no, not really. I mean, we can't live in the past. We're trying to live in the fourth. I mean, today was the biggest game. I mean, they were a little bit better team than Kent than you and I was, but I mean, they did beat us. So we just had to be able to go out there and just, like I said, just be able to give it all at the end of the game, just be able to finish. When Marcus went down, we asked you beforehand about how much you guys can grow while he's out. Assuming he plays next week, did it take five games and 36 minutes for you guys to begin to grow without him? Uh, I mean, we, we've grown ever since he's gotten hurt. Even in practice, we've grown as a, as a, as a unit. And, I mean, it's just we're starting to gel a lot more. But then when he gets back, it's going to be a lot, a lot more fun. I mean, guys are going to start keying back in on him, and it's going to open up for, for everybody else. But, I mean, it's, as a team, we know that we can play without him. And we don't, we don't want to play without him. But at the end of the day, we can't. we have to, then we know we can. We do have some great guys that will be able to step up with Joel Bear and Theo Pinson and, like, Justin Jackson. Justin has been stepping up the last couple of games averaging like 20 some points a game. So I mean that's really big for us with Marcus being out. So I mean it's just we do have a lot of guys on that bench that can really step up in his absence. You would you would act